make sure the thoughts of goodwill form the framework for your practice. And John Munn, every morning, right after he woke up, would spread thoughts of goodwill to all beings. Then again in the afternoon after his nap, goodwill to all beings. And before going to bed, goodwill for all beings. And sometimes it wasn't just a thought. He had a chant, thinking of all beings in the ten directions, and all different kinds of beings. Beings, creatures, animals, devas, human beings, men, women, noble ones, non-noble ones, those in the lower realms. There were ten categories altogether. It takes a good half hour to chant that chant. So it wasn't just a passing thought. Sometimes it was just thinking, but again, he'd give it a serious thought. What would that mean to have goodwill for all beings? It means that you want to see everybody behaving in skillful ways. You realize that by spreading thoughts of goodwill, you don't have a magic wand in your hand that you tap on people's heads and make them happy. If you're thinking about your relationship to other people and your interactions with them, as the Buddha said, harmony in the group comes from thoughts of goodwill, words of goodwill, actions of goodwill. So you don't want it just to stop with the thoughts, it has to go into your actions as well. And what that might mean, particularly with people you find difficult, what would it mean to have goodwill for them? Think hard about that, and you find that you benefit the people around you do as well. Remember the, the Buddha's comment that by thoughts of goodwill, even though we're extending them to other people, we're benefiting. Just as when we do the practice, even though that's focused mainly on our own minds, still other people benefit as well. The Buddha found ways in which you can find happiness where you don't draw a boundary line, saying this is mine and that's not yours. It's everybody's. When you can think in those terms, Harmony is a lot easier. And you also get a clearer idea of how you should be acting. We have the precepts, we have the rules, but there are a lot of areas where things are not against the rules, but still they don't show goodwill. So we're not here just to obey by the rules. We go beyond that. We try to think about the people's well-being in addition to ours. And when we perform acts of goodwill that erase the boundary between the two.